In this presentation, we will introduce event programs and event capture in a little bit more detail. We'll start by discussing event capture. Event capture allows you to collect detailed or discrete data about one specific and isolated event. Each event is independent and doesn't have any relationship with any other events. An event belongs to an organization unit and has a date. However, there is no link to a patient or any other type of entity. If, for example, we are tracking patients, every time the patient comes back to the facility to receive services, it is entered in as a new event. There is no history of that patient being in the facility, as there is no linkage between the new event and their previous attendance at the facility. Even though there is no linkage, this still enables much more detailed statistics when compared to aggregated data collection, as we can look at all of the individual details for all of the individual events within a particular facility, for example. Event capture serves as a natural extension to the aggregated data model. It very closely reflects the relationship between a paper-based register and its aggregated data summary. Some examples of events include a malaria registry, ICD-10 coded events, and surveys. Let's go through a couple examples that are available within TrainingLand. The first example that we will discuss is a malaria registry. On the form itself, you may be collecting the name, but when you are entering this data into DHIS2, you are not entering those details to identify the person. In this example, each line on the malaria registry represents an event. When the patient comes into the clinic to receive malaria services, that is the event in question. Because there is no linkage between individual visits on this registry, if this first patient comes in a second time, we won't be able to find their history and link them together. We will, however, be able to produce much more detailed statistics using all the individual variables that are part of this malaria registry. The next example is the SARA survey. We have provided this survey as a reference for you to review. Please have a look if you want to see the survey in detail. The SARA survey is a service availability and readiness assessment. Its objectives are to generate reliable and regular information on service availability, the availability of basic equipment, basic amenities, essential medicines, and diagnostic capacities within facilities in the health system. The SARA survey also generates information on the readiness of health facilities to provide basic healthcare interventions for a number of health programs, both communicable and non-communicable in nature. In this example, a survey is taken for every facility within the health system. In practice, often a sample of facilities within the health system is surveyed. The individual components of the event are entered into DHIS2 for each individual facility. The individual components actually are comprised of the data elements, and the event is the survey itself. Within the survey, questions like, does this facility provide antenatal care, are answered. There are, of course, many follow-up questions that would belong to that particular question. If we answer this question, does this facility provide antenatal care, we can then calculate the number of facilities that are providing antenatal care within this particular health system. This is in contrast to receiving only data about the number of facilities that provide antenatal care through numeric or aggregate reporting. If we only receive the numerical summary, we may not have the individual itemized list of health facilities that deliver antenatal care. We've now introduced the event capture concept a little bit more, as well as two separate event use cases that are available within TrainingLand. In the next session, we will go through event capture, demonstrating some of the principles that we have discussed using the use cases that we have identified. Let us know if you have any questions on either the concept of event capture or any of the use cases we have described before we proceed.